Um, today we'll be talking about unit 5, inverses and logarithms, and we'll be investigating the function y equals log 10 of x squared. And um, to investigate a function, we have to look at the four different faces of the function. And those four faces are, can be written as G-R-O-W-T-H, or growth. Um, the G in growth stands for the graph. The R in growth stands for rule or the equation. The W stands for words. And T stands for table. So since we already have the rule or the equation, let's not worry about that. And since we're just uh, going to be looking at the um, equation itself and not at any word problems, we'll also disregard the words part of that. So let's mainly just focus on the table and the graph. So let's start by creating a table for this. So for the table, um, we have to make two columns, x and y. And for x, let's plug, we have to plug in a number of different values so we can um, get the points for us to graph our um, function. So when I'm graphing a new function that I've never looked at before, I like to graph a wide range of points. So let's graph um, um, all the points from negative 5 to 5. So negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So now the way that we get our y's is that we take these numbers and we plug them into our equation. So let's start with um, negative 5. So if I plug negative 5 into the equation, I get y is equal to log 10 of negative 5 squared. Negative 5 squared is equal to 25, so I get log 10 of 25. And when I plug this into my calculator, I get a number that is equal to, um, that is about equal to 1.39. So I'll proceed to um, do this for the rest of um, the, my x's, and since I don't want to um, show you all those separately. I'll simply write the answers for them here. So once you plug all these into your calculator, you should get one, uh, so, uh, so a number close to 1.2 for negative 4, um, a number close to 0 0.95 for negative 3, 0 0.3 for negative 2, 0 for negative 1, um, 0 for um, 1, 0 0.3 for 2, 0 0.95 for 3, 1.2 for 4, and 1.39 for 5. And you'll notice that 0 is undefined because you cannot take the log of a... You cannot take the log of 0 because that's just one of the things that you cannot do. It's like taking the square root of a negative number or something like that. It's just... It counts as undefined. And um, so now that we have our x's and our y's, let's take this table that we've created and turn it into a graph so we can get a better idea of what our function looks like. So I've moved over our table over here and I've created a graph for us and on the x-axis each of the um, clicks or each of the lines on the graph represents 1 and on the y-axis each of the lines represents 0.25 since we're going to be dealing with um, pretty small numbers on the y-axis. So let's start by graphing our first point, which is at negative 5, 1.39. So we'll go to the left all the way to 5, and we'll go up to 1.39 and draw a single point. We'll do the same for negative 4, 1.2, negative 3, um, 0 0.95, negative 2, 0 0.3, and negative 1, 0. And um, since, zero, since we have an undefined at 0, we won't mark anything on that axis. And once we'll draw a point at 1, 0, a point at 2, 0, 0.3, a point at 3, 0, 0.95, a point at 4, and 1.2, and a point at 5, 1.39. And one thing I forgot to mention while we were in the table stage was that if you look at all the numbers, um, you'll notice that the numbers for negative, that the y values for negative 5 and 5 are the same, for negative 4 and 4 are the same. For negative 3 and 3 are the same, for negative 2 and 2 are the same, and for negative 1 and 1 are all the same. And if you look at our equation, this is because since these numbers are being squared, um, it doesn't matter if they're negative or positive because their value will be the same once they're squared. So now that we've got all these points, we can connect the dots and form our graph of our uh, function. So if you notice here, um, we've created our graph. and. As you can see, we have an asymptote at um, an asymptote at x equals zero, and an asymptote is where um, 
An asymptote is where a line or a function, the values get as close to it as possible, but it never touches it. So for that reason, we'll draw lines going downward that get really, really close to the y-axis, but they will never actually touch it. And if you take a look at this graph, um, you'll notice some similarities that it has to both that of a, um, a logarithmic function, which looks like this, and that of a parabola. And if you look at the equation, you'll see that we're taking a logarithm of x squared, and x squared is part of a quadratic function, which is like a parabola. So the fact that these two functions are being combined can kind of be reflected in this graph. And so the final thing that we've done once now that we've graphed it is to find the domain and range of it. So the domain of this, which has to do with the x, the first domain would be from negative infinity to zero, and this would both be in parentheses because um, since you can't, um, negative infinity isn't a definite number, that needs to be in parentheses, and since zero is an asymptote, it's uh, also in parentheses because um, we will get very close to zero, but we will never actually land on it. And then for the other side, or for the other part of the graph, um, the domain would be um, parentheses zero, comma, positive infinity, because it goes on forever to the right, and because, once again, it will not touch zero. It will just get as close to it as possible. And um, the range for both of them will be um, negative infinity, comma, positive infinity, because it, um, it goes all the way, it goes down forever, and it goes up forever. So that essentially concludes our video investigating the four faces of this function. Um, just to wrap up what we've learned, we learned how to take a completely new function that we've never seen before and how to um, investigate it by first creating a table of all the different values that we can get and then using those points from that table to create a graph and then find the domain and range from that. So that concludes today's video. Thank you for watching.